Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show, and it's Monday, it's 10 a.m., and you know what that means. It's episode 6 of the Faster XP 2012 series. And in this video, we're going to talk about removing that nasty malware. Everybody hates malware. What's malware, you ask? Malicious software. Malicious software is another way of saying viruses, spyware, adware, yesware, nowhere, everywhere, somewhere. And what you do is, is you run this awesome scanning tool developed by this awesome company, who developed this awesome malware bytes and I I kid you not this software has has saved so many machines in my experience and it's free for personal use I mean it blows me away and it still blows me away and I still recommend it to everybody so stay tuned every Monday by the way I gotta throw this in here every Monday at 10 a.m. we're gonna do another faster XP series there's over 60 video tips that are gonna be occurring in this series and uh, so let's get started at my, my website, you can download all the free tools in this series. I have them in the free download section here in the upper left-hand corner. For those of you who don't know the website, it's pcmtechhealth.com. And in this particular video series, we're going to select the free download section. And we're going to go to the anti-malware section of my site. And we're going to scroll down to, it's kind of buried there, Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. Go ahead and select that and download it. And once you've downloaded it, I for expedition expedited purposes. I actually downloaded it in advance. Yay me. And uh, that way you guys don't sit there and watch a download bar while I'm coming up with random things to say. Uh, but once you've downloaded it, go ahead and select run and run and it's going to start the installer. I'm going to select English because it's the only language I speak and the only one that I know, unfortunately. And we're going to click next and I have to tell you to make sure you agree to these licensing terms. As you can see, it must be for non-commercial use only that is for personal use completely free for people like you and me who are sitting at home running it on their computer but if you're going to work use it in a business you gotta pay for it so like next 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 and no junk files added in thank you malware bytes uh, no toolbars no adware no spyware just a bunch of junk the only thing they might make you do is enable the free trial of malware bytes anti malware pro this little checkbox only lasts for a month then they're going to prompt you and ask you, hey, do you want to buy this? So you can choose to do that or not. The difference between pro and free is pro will do real-time scanning while you're using your computer. It's a, it's a great piece of software, so you should consider buying it if you're paranoid about protection. But if you're good at running things by yourself every once in a while, like once a month, you don't need to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and update and launch it at the same time. I'm going to select finish. Now. It might take a little bit for this updater to start. I've noticed that with this software. Uh, my computer's faster than normal uh, computers, so it comes up pretty quick. But you might need to wait a solid 30 seconds before that pops up. And uh, it's going to download it. It's going to install the updates. And then you're going to be greeted with the beautiful, wonderful Malwarebytes anti-malware screen. I love this software. Okay, so here it is, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, very easy to use. First time you're using it, always do a full scan. Uh, make sure you find everything that you're uh, looking for. Uh, make sure you do the update before you run the full scan. Since we already did the update, because we just installed it, then uh, you can do it that way. Uh, this is the protection. You can enable that full version if you want it. You can see what the differences are down here. And once you do the full scan, remove all them nasties. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Remove all them nasties and uh, and uh, reboot your computer if it asks you, because it, it will ask you if it's necessary. And uh, go ahead and, and, and remove it. I mean, it does everything. It's awesome. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you remove malware from Windows XP machines. This software also works on Windows Vista and Windows 7. And uh, stay tuned for our next episode. Remember, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we're going to do the whole Faster XP spiel. It's going to be 60 episodes, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, where I am not myself. And, or you can follow me on Twitter, where I am myself. And it uh, depends on which one disturbs you more. If I'm too disturbing as myself, then follow the Facebook me. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments, ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. i got to get out of here. Uh, somebody's calling me, and, oh, man, somebody wants help. <laughs>